Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from Tusic Internet Solutions, and in this short video I'd like to show you the most important part of ASP.NET, and that's Web API. Because in the future, a lot of apps and things like that are just going to be JavaScript, like AngularJS, but you need a way to get data back and forth from the server to the client, and that's where Web API will do its magic. So I'm going to give you a short introduction how to do it with DNN, and the example that I've prepared for you is a Too Sexy app. And so to try it yourself, and then you can also mess with the code, I've prepared the app. You can download it on that address that you see on the screen. And so we're going to quickly install Too Sexy Content. We're going to get the app on it, and then I'm going to show you how it, the user would see it. It's very simple, but I think it should help you get started. I'll show you the server and the client side, just as a global overview, and I'll show you what happens on the wire, so what is happening on the messages being sent back and forth. In future videos, we'll go into more depth. So let's just get started. Um, what I have here is a DNN installation, and just so you know, if ever you'd want to install a open source free component, usually all I have to do is go to host extensions, go to more extensions, and then you can type in something like too sexy, and you can just immediately install it from here. I've already done this because it takes about a minute and it would make the video unnecessarily long, but that's how you get started. So now I'm on this site and I'm gonna add the app module and it'll ask me to install some default apps. I don't want these for this demo. I'm gonna get other apps. Now I have to pick a file and this file doesn't exist yet. I have to download it first because of that I've uh, opened the app catalog on the page that you've seen in the PowerPoint presentation, apps, tag, web API. You can also set the filters here. And we're going to go with the basic demo right now, the very, very basic one, because this is the simplest. Let me just download this zip for you. Okay, I have it. Now let us upload it to my installation. So let's go to the downloads. And what we should be seeing here is the, let's I think it should be this one. Yes, basic. Um, wait, I think I got the wrong one. Because we would like the very newest one that I just downloaded now. And okay, I'm just going to guess that it is this one here because it must be the one I just downloaded. And now we'll upload it. What happens is it just, it actually just contains a few HTML files, very simple, and the web API. So now that I've added this, I can close this dialog. I don't need to do much more, but simply select the app now, the one that I just installed. Now, this is a very unexciting thing to do. All I have to do now is click this very first button and it'll ask the server to tell it what year it is. And it'll ask the server over web API and it'll get 2014, very simple. Then it'll get some more extensive infos about the current module. The server too can give it the information. It can tell it the module ID is 679 and it can tell the title of this module. So again, you can get all kinds of information. It'll get an array of days and just show me some information. Super simple or get some categories. Very trivial. So let's see what happens or what it's like in the background. Um, this entire thing is a solution and I've opened it in web matrix at the moment. And I hope you can see it well because of screen sizes. Otherwise, uh, download the app and give it, give it a try. So what we have here is I'm going to show you the server side first. And this is this file here. Um, I've added a lot of nodes to help you understand it a bit more. But very simply put, this is just a file which lies in the folder API. That's it. And because it inherits from this sexy API controller, and has its own name, of course, it is automatically wired up to react to certain URLs and deliver data. Um, there's some things in here like what does it listen to, what security level, so I can use this without being logged on, some anti-forgery tokens. This is to protect the API from being abused from external sources for things that you don't want. And so it has a command, for example, get module info or the current year. Remember when we said current year? Well, all it does is it returns a date, time, now, year. So it just returns a number. Very, very simple. There's the command that get module info. Here it gets the active module, module ID and things like that. Very simple. 
or the list of days where it just returns an array of strings. Very simple, try it, make some changes, see what happens. Now let's look at the HTML file. Um, it of course starts with some instructions which you saw on the screen before. And basically here's a JavaScript ask for year and it'll pass the module ID in. The module ID is important because each module would have, diff would have different APIs, right? Um, if it were a gallery, for example, it could have different APIs than a contact form. So, of course, to wire it up automatically, it has to know which module we're talking to. So let's look at the code. This too is very simple, ask for year. Well, it'll go through this JavaScript controller, do a web API get on this command, simple demo request current year, and when that has happened, it'll just do this then and alert the current year. As you can see, it's very, very simple. And I would like to now show you what happens on the wire. So let me just clear this. Um, and I'm now going back to here and I'm just gonna ask for the year again. Current year is 2014. And now you can see this is what actually happened on the wire. We had a request going to this URL here. So going to the simple demo request current year. And in the result, we just got a number back. Very simple, and that's actually all there is to it. I'll try to show you a more complicated example, the one that returns categories. Here too, we have a call asking for the categories, and it returns this JSON array here, saying there's a title called to succeed. Okay, that category has the ID 27. 32 and things like that. So if we look at this in the JSON view, you'll see, okay, I got an array back with these categories. So it's very, very simple and it's very basic. Um, basically, you can now just go ahead and fiddle a bit with the controller, fiddle a bit with the JavaScript and just start to feel what it's like to use this. In future videos, we'll build on this and do some more extensive stuff, including some really crazy things like a real life um, Angular JS app, which will actually be using these um, web APIs. So I hope you liked it. Um, anything else to add? Nope, I don't think so. Let's just check. We did the live demo, we looked at the code, and we watched what was on the wire. Hope you liked it. This is Daniel Mettler from Tusic Internet Solutions. Have fun and do try it because that's the only way to learn. See you next time. Bye bye.